What is going on guys, Master Gamer here today, back with another video for you today. Doing something a little bit different, doing a tutorial video, which I don't really do a lot of, and I should do more really, to kind of uh, help you guys out there who are new to the streaming side of life and YouTube side of life and all that, so I should do more of these really. Uh, but depending on how this video does, I might do some more and uh, see how uh, this one goes. Uh, but today, uh, as you can tell by the title, uh, we're here to uh, tell you how to get your Elgato, your capture card, uploaded onto your OBS software and processing the gameplay for it basically. So uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, lots of people didn't know about this. I didn't know about it until I learned about it. So I'm just gonna help you out guys and just tell you how you wanna do it. It's very, very simple. So obviously install OBS, uh, which will there will be a link in the description down below. Uh, if you haven't downloaded it already, install it. Uh, depending on your computer, you might wanna go for the 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, you just check on your computer to see what it is. Uh, and then what you do is you'll load it up it'd be just a blank screen then what you do is uh, you'll see these two boxes down here uh, they will be blank for you these are just uh, how how I've set mine up for like my live streaming and stuff like that uh, then what you do is go on to uh, scenes you right click on it then you've got all these lovely things here and you see that special one at the top add scene and you go oh okay add scene and what you do is say depend say you're going to want to set up your PlayStation. So I'm just going to say PS4. That's going to be on PS4 source. So you add that and you click OK, but I'm not going to do it because I've already got it set up. Then you, you press OK, then it processes, uh, but I'm going to cancel it for now. Then it will just be highlighted there when you click on it. Then you come over to this box here, sources. This is everything will be on this screen here. So like for me at the moment, I've got my main window recording at the moment, recording my OBS, and obviously I've got my capture card recording, which is my PS4 up here. So what you do is, that will be blank for you. You literally right click on it, and then you go onto here, then you go onto video capture device. You don't want to get game capture, that's for recording uh, for your actual computer itself. But if you want to record your Elgato, you click on video capture device. Then you just, keep it at a capture device or video capture device whatever you want to name it you can name it funky capture card device whatever but I'm going to call it capture device then what you do is just press ok then this box will come up uh, I haven't really messed around with settings you can be crazy if you want to but I didn't alter anything I like it the way it is I don't want to mess around with it too much uh, and just keep it very minimal I did I was like okay I'll play with safe bet and just keep it like that then obviously this box is very important up here as well uh, you click on it uh, if Elgato hasn't popped in popped up popped up in there unplug it and plug it back in uh, and make sure obviously it's plugged in properly not just like ha half hanging out because this is a, t a problem I did have a, at the beginning it wasn't picking up on it so take it out put it back in and if it's still not picking up close down OBS and uh, open up again. Just try that. It does t take a couple of times. I did have a few, few problems at the beginning uh, But if you do fiddle around a bit too much with it, oh, your Elgato will just go a bit weird It will but it's fine. It's not as broken or anything. It's just uh, OBS not picking up on it So it will eventually work just play around with it and it will pop up eventually But if it does pop up straight away, uh, that's fantastic, but don't select your webcam That's what you don't want to record. That's obviously my other capture device. I've got into my computer uh, Which I use uh, for my gameplays and stuff like that, but obviously click on Elgato capture uh, game capture device thing magic then you press OK then it will proceed obviously I've already got it uh, logged in but what will happen then obviously I'm just going to do this really quickly it will come full screen it'll be like yes PlayStation is on now online sort of thing uh, and you're like oh my god it's amazing so I'll just delete that so you actually know what I'm on about I'm just deleting that really quickly so you can actually see what I'm on about so I'm just going to add mine in I should have deleted that at the beginning uh, just do that for now and just press OK So as you can see, mine's just processing now, and there we go. My old gato has processed the gameplay through, and it is working marvelous. But that's how you basically do it, and obviously you can uh, 
so as you can see it's working and everything like that uh, and it does the job fantastic it's very very simple hopefully this has helped you guys if it has remember to uh, drop me a like on this video don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel as well uh, if you do want to see any more kind of tutorials on stuff like this uh, just let me know in the comments down below uh, and if there's any other ways I can help you say if you get into live streaming or just YouTube stuff let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a video of it or just comment to you and let you know how you do stuff uh, but hopefully this video has has been helpful helpful for you guys uh, and I will be back very soon with another video guys have yourself a great day I'll see you later on bye